Okay, so which one of you has a wax warmer? Whether you do your own wax melts, soy wax melts, Scentsy, whatever it is. Does Scentsy even exist anymore? Like, I haven't seen people selling Scentsy in a while, so I don't know if it's just disappeared or what. But um, I figured out something because I don't have very much wax left. Let me show you what I have left here real quick. Um, because most of my wax melts have been packed away for moving to the new house. Um, so I have like these, the little Glade melts. And if you've used these, they don't exactly work very well. I have like three in this pack, one in another pack, and then like two more. And um, they don't last very long. The scent in those ones doesn't last very long. But I want to show you what I've been doing. So once the Glade scent runs out, I don't remember who told me about this, um, but once the scent runs out in your wax, whatever wax you put in there, um, you can actually put essential oil on your wax and it will do basically the same job. Um, so I'm going to turn this around in a second and show you what I've been using with the wax um, once the scent runs out of the wax melts themselves because I want to show you guys like if you have essential oils you can easily make the essential oils kind of diffuse throughout your house or your apartment and it kind of does the same thing as the wax melts. So I'm going to flip this around and show you what I've been using in my little wax melter. Okay, so here is my wax melter. And as you can see, I need to clean it. There's wax on the side from dumping out the wax melt that was in there. Um, but there is a wax melt in there right now. Um, I don't know if you can see around the sides. It is wax. However, right now, I actually put this lavender oil into it, and I literally just put, um, you can put as much as you want to get the scent that you want. I just put a whole dropper in here um, because I wanted it to last throughout the day. Yesterday, when they were doing inspections on the apartment for the insurance purposes, if that's what you want to believe, I put the sweet pea essential oil in there, and then I've got lotus, I got another little lavender, a eucalyptus, and green tea, and then I have a jasmine also. The sweet pea and the lotus smell really good. Um, obviously, you guys should probably know what lavender um, smells like. It's pretty strong, but it kind of wafts the scent throughout the whole house, and it's something simple. Like if you're if you're just trying to um, kind of create a little scent in your house, if you're into essential oils, then this could be another way that you can use them. Obviously, there's a lot you can do with essential oils. Um, the article that I read um, that somebody had sent me said you can either put the drops into the wax once they lose their scent, or and I haven't tried this because I'm a little afraid to do so. Um, they said you could just dump the wax out, put water in there, and then put a few drops of whatever essential oil you, you want to diffuse. Um, but for me, at least in my opinion, putting the essential oil drops onto the wax itself is just as um, useful. Um, so. so, I mean, there's plenty of options for how you can do it, but... I would just say like if you have wax that's in there already that's lost its scent instead of having to worry about constantly going back to your wax warmer to make sure that all the water hasn't evaporated um, and putting more water into it and mixing more drops in just put it in the wax before you throw out the wax or whatever you do with your wax um, I usually just dump it into a plastic container and then once the container is full I either throw out the container or I break the wax out of the container. Um, from Aldi, I had gotten like the 
before they changed the packaging, the plastic lunch meat containers um, that have the lid to it, I just would take the lid off, throw that away, or recycle it, and um, dump the wax that I had already used that lost its scent into that once I was done with it. But, um, you know, if I can use essential oils to kind of stretch my wax inventory out a little bit, then I definitely feel like that's worth it to do. Um, so, you know, that's what I chose to do. But it all just depends on you and what you um, want to do with your wax. <sighs> but wax can be expensive. And I think it's worth it to at least try the essential oils um, and kind of stretch out your uh, wax inventory a little bit. But like I said, not everybody is into essential oils or the scents that they have. So um, it's all just based on your preference, really. But anyways, that's it. I just wanted to share this little tip in case you didn't even know it. And I'll talk to you guys again in my next video.